So I brought Psyon for for flag pulling um, because um, we got ill our, um, last week. Um, she did medical and um, you know instead of having to apply and wait for only God knows when for work permit, um, we decided to come and do flag pulling. I think she wish me all the best. <laughs> what are you going to do? Aunt flag pull. Okay. Work permit. What are you flag pulling for? I want to apply for work permit. Why, are you interviewing Why do you need a work permit? Because I want to work, obviously. <laughs> so I'm about to go to cross Canada border to the US border back to Canada to flag pull. I want to apply for a work permit and hope I get it instantly. So that's, that's the reason for flag pulling. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm about stepping out of the car. Wish me like. It's <laughs> funny how scared she is. <laughs> I don't know why you're scared. I'm because you're going to the one that do. Oh, oh, do you get a lot of worry? Let me, <laughs> let me kiss you. So that <laughs> if it is nine, that will see. <laughs> I feel they don't carry you, they go your your father's house. They carry you go Joe Biden. We hope I hope she gets it. Um she has left for the border now. I was just making a joke that if she doesn't come back, we'll meet in Nigeria. <laughs> but I hope that doesn't happen. Just 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 saying. So yeah, hopefully everything goes well. Um now the long wait, I just have to sit in this car and just wait and wait and wait till I hear from her. A few moments later. I think you're the one who should even explain this. It's very easy. The process is very, very easy. <laughs> like yeah. once you get to the to the US border, it's like why what do you want or why are you, what are you here for? And I'm like I want to fly pool. And she was just like she didn't even give me anything. The officer on duty, she just say I should come back here. And tell them that I've been there. Do you get? Okay. So I went, like. Okay, the office, the, the U.S. officer. Yes, I didn't get any documents. So you stepped into U.S. I've not been to I U.S. I did not so. step into U.S. Now I just stood by the that gate, mm -hmm. and she came out of her like, "What do you want?" Because there's a sign there that, like, don't go further until like, an officer is ready. So I just stood there and she came, "What do you want?" Like, I want to flag for then. I hope I'm looking good. <laughs> <laughs> then, then she came out and she was like, "Okay, what do you want to do? I want to flag for." She said, "Okay, go back there. Give me the description. Like this is another officer is on this side. That's a Canadian officer. Yes, and um, tell them you've been here. This no, you've been to the US. Yes. So I came back here. Uh, when I go back here, there is also a similar sign that like you should wait." So you're being called so there's an officer to attend to you. So yeah, then she she called she she called upon me. What do you want to do? I said I'm flag pulling. Why are you flag pulling? Okay, no request her for my passport. Okay, she requested for my passport. Um then she asked, What's your status in Canada? In Canada. Like after telling her my status. Like when did you come? Do you get yeah? Oh, like when did you arrive in Canada? Yes, second of May. Then what did she asks again. Okay, so why are you flag pulling? So I said I want to apply for an open work permit. She was like, on what ground? Oh, what kind of open work permit? I was like, open work permit is open work permit. <laughs> this is their kind. So I was like, I just want to apply for an open work permit. So I thought that my PR application is in progress, and I just want. To, I already got an appointment of receipt, and I just want to apply for an open work. So she wrote down on a yellow note, like I, I could read it, like open work permit, been in Canada since second of May, but like just like information, information that the officers inside. So when I got inside, like another officer again, what do you want to do? So I explained that I want to apply for an open work permit. Yeah, that I want to apply for an open work. So she was like, on what ground? So I, I already clarified from me that is it just an open work permit? Or okay, that was like the back and forth chat. Yes, or a spousal work permit. Like I thought they were 
two different things. things like so i was like okay spousal like based on my spouse she's like what's your the status spouse of, of your spouse, spouse. like he's a permanent resident i was like oh okay that means what i want to apply for is a, is a bridging open work mm-hmm. permit and that they do not issue bridging open work permits at the border so i have to apply online so that the application has to be online that they will, they issue it based on the proce- progress of your pr so they can do it so that if you, if my spouse were to be a temporary resident or has like it in, sorry it has a temporary status in status, canada yes, whether it's a visit whether if you're, oh no not a visitor no, though sorry. if your spouse is a, is a student yes, or on a work visa then they can issue the work permit here Okay, so that I should have, have I explored that option. I was like, I knew that the option existed, but I was like, you know that this was the first option that no, I had, right. so I wanted to try it out. I was like, okay, that's try applying online. I still have a valid stay in Canada, I can stay as long as. Okay. And that was it. <laughs> and then she also said that um, if it's if it's about expiring. Then you can, yeah. That I can apply for an extension, yeah. That I can apply for an extension, okay. So, like, I know this is something I wanted to say. This is one of the reasons why I really wanted you to try this. Mm -hmm. Um, because people have like like this kind of fear Mm -hmm. about coming to the border. Oh, once I get to the border, Mm -hmm. I won't be able to come back in anymore. Mm -hmm. As long as you have a valid stay, even if your valid stay is as a visitor as um whatever whatever your valid stays as long as it's not ex- even if it is two days to expiring as long as it has not expired they won't they are no animals they won't chase you out so the most that will happen is oh we can't issue that here yeah, like it has happened in this case we have an, a work permit application open already online we just wanted to try this because if she applies here and she gets it it's just get it and one reason why i also wanted to apply was because i searched online the information was neither here no, but like for somebody with a PR, I knew that for like temporary one because somebody has already done it and gotten it. So basically, one thing is clear now: you cannot do a bridging open work permit. Yeah, bridging. Border. Yeah, a bridging open work permit at the border, because bridging work work permit is also when you have like um a a PR application ongoing yourself. Mm-hmm. It makes sense now. That was why I could not because I asked then when um i was out of job mm-hmm. um when my pr application oh this is another long story my pr application was in progress and um i was out of job because my aor has, hasn't come my post graduation work permit has ex- expired and by law i'm not eligible to work so i told my company so they stopped me from working and um we had to do like an lmi which is like an employer sponsored work permit they had to do that one for me i asked them if why i can just go to the border and get one in a day this was why she said we should submit insisted we submit online because this would have been faster i had to wait for six weeks for that one so, so i think once you have a pr application in progress you can they can't because our explanation is above was, their pay grade yeah explanation was the issue those permits based on the status of your peer yeah so like they know the document you submitted now for PR. yeah they, they will do security check all those checks mm-hmm. medicals and all. so i don't think they can assess it all those here, all those, yeah. and i don't think they want but they can assess your temporary status yeah here. i don't think they want to so that means if you get the work permit it's like sure that you get the almost sure that you get your PR. No, if you get an AOR, mm-hmm. it is guaranteed that you get your PR. I've not seen anybody with an AOR, except you have a criminal case. Mm-hmm. On and your neck. it should be easy for them here now, because the explanation why they are not giving it is because they are supposed to track the PR application, see the progress, see if you... It's just, I think it's just a bureaucratic um, issue. It's a bureaucracy thing. But it is what it is. It was nice to come out here. The drive was beautiful. Um, we came to Point Robot. It's my first time here. I've never been out here in Twasen before. So it's another, it's a positive to you want to sleep. So 
and I think that's a pretty much if you have a temporary stay in Canada um, or your spouse does those of you who have applied for like a study visa right now I think for Nigerians it's 57 weeks for a work visa and um, so if your spouse is here in Canada studying already I think you can explore the study option come I come to study uh, sorry the visitor visa option apply for a visitor visa that's faster if you come in you can easily go to the border and um you know get an an open work permit based on your spouse's temporary status as a student so i think that's one option that you guys can explore the fear of you going into the border and coming back if there's somebody who is really afraid of that <laughs> this is her and she did I it and but, but, but you know you were you were worried <laughs> you were come on <laughs> i was just thinking of the worst that could happen uh -huh. you, 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 you think oh maybe i'll go back to i'll go back to lagos you know but it is what it is it's it's so smooth and just look for your brother that's not very busy and um yeah some of the officers do not know well apparently the one she spoke to is very knowledgeable so um let's go submit it online um Hopefully we get it. <laughs> <laughs>